What's up, everybody? Doc Dark1985. There's levels to this. All right, man. So my last video has gotten a lot of attention pretty quickly. It's not my most watched video, right? I have a video where I'm comparing um, the Turtle Beach Battle Buzz against the HyperX Cloud earbuds, and that one has like 6,000 views or whatever. But my last video, I'm talking about the Xbox Series X has no exclusives has been getting probably the fastest views and comments so people are really really want to talk about this so i want to start off by saying if you comment on any of my videos i appreciate you i don't care if you agree with me or if you don't agree with me i appreciate you even for the dude that called me a, a fanboy i appreciate you too all right so it is what it is but Let's talk about this now. So let, 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 let's break this down and we'll see how far we take this, how far we take this. OK, I'm I'm not declaring that the Xbox Series X is going to be the best next generation console. I'm not. I'm not declaring that the PS5 is going to be the next, uh, the best next generation console. I'm not because none of these systems are out yet. Right. Everything that these companies are saying and all these rumors that are coming out are just sayings. We don't know if they're facts until the systems actually come out, right? All you got to do is look at uh, Google Stadia, look at everything that they promised, and you can see how they delivered or did not deliver. I'll let you figure that out for yourself, right? So with that being said, all I am saying is that when you look at all the news and rumors that's coming out for each system just to me in my opinion the xbox series x sounds more enticing right now at the moment right 2020 just started so this 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 could change right this could change quickly all right so that's that's all i'm saying but as far as which one is actually better I don't know, man. I don't have either system and you don't have either system unless you're a freaking developer and you got a dev kit. And then so that's cool for you. Right. But I know that's not me. But let's let's focus on the title of that video. One word on that title. And that's exclusives. So I had people that agreed with me and then I had people that disagreed with me. Right now. Even if Microsoft doesn't have exclusives when this, their system comes out, do I think that's going to um, really hurt them? Honestly, I don't know. We'll see what happens when it comes out. We'll see, right? But could it help them to have exclusives? Yes. Yes. Having exclusives just for the Xbox Series X, I don't see how that hurts the sales of the freaking xbox series x now i did have one a, a really good comment somebody said um that most of these companies lose on on the console anyways right okay and then i had a counter comment where somebody talked about how microsoft is so big that they could subsidize you know for the parts and everything and they might not lose on the sale for the console okay which one's true i don't know but all i know is that if you come out with a product your goal is to sell as much of that product as you can, right? That's like that's like business one on one. Like, why would you not want to sell the most of that product? So if you could bundle that product with something that you can only use it for, right? How how does that not how does that not make sense? I don't I, I don't get it. So the word exclusive. This is all I'm saying. Right now, when you're looking at Sony, again, it's my opinion, right? Definitely leave your comments. I know you're going to leave your comments, so definitely leave them. Right now, when I look at the PS5 and I, and I look at the Xbox Series X, the Xbox Series X is more enticing to me. It looks like it looks like the better product, okay? I like the way it looks better. That's facts. I'm, I'm obviously we're only looking at the Sony uh, dev kit, but I'm just telling you what I, I'm just telling you what I see. I like the way it looks better. I like the rumors of freaking being able to to uh, use Steam and the Epic Store. I, I love that for sure. 
I already like the controller better because I like the Xbox controller better. I'll be honest with you. The PS4 controller is not bad. The DualShock 4 is not bad. And I'm sure the DualShock 5 is going to be similar. So it's not bad. But for me right now, it looks like it's an Xbox controller. And I already use the Xbox controller. So I I like it. Okay. Let's see what else. Um, what else does it have the capability? Oh, the the fact that you could play um, all your old games. That's, you know, that's pretty cool too. Um, I'm looking into this this X Cloud thing too. That sounds pretty cool too. It's, um, supposedly Sony's PlayStation Now is eh, is okay. So again, so to me, the Xbox Series X right now just looks better. All I'm saying is I'm not sure why Microsoft would al even allow Sony the chance to catch up with exclusives. And here's the thing: for those of you that thinks that, ex that exclusives don't matter. It does matter, and I'll prove it to you right now. But before I say it, I'm going to say this. If it comes out on the Xbox Series X and it comes out on PC, it's not an exclusive. It's not. It's just not because that means you get to play it on PC as well. So that means there's some people out there, because some people, some people have the money to do it, that have 1080 Ti's, right? 2080 Ti's. 2080s, 2070s, 1070s, right? There are people that have nice computer rigs, like really nice, right? That they might opt if they see a game that's going to come out for the Xbox Series X or for PC, they might say to themselves, I'm not going to buy the Xbox Series X just yet. I'm going to wait and I'm going to just get this game that's brand new on the PC. I'm, t I'm telling you that's going to happen. So that right there is a chance that Microsoft had to sell another one of their boxes and put in your home that they lost because they allowed you to get it on PC, all right? I'm, I'm, I'm just telling you, it's just the way it is, all right? Now, if you don't think exclusives are important, this is the biggest point that I can make. And if you don't, if you don't get this point, then somebody say something in the comment section, maybe I'm not saying it right, but this is the biggest thing I could tell you, okay? Nintendo is arguably is alive based on exclusives. Arguably, it's alive based on exclusive. Nintendo for the longest time has been underpowered. Okay. Their controllers aren't the best, right? Their their internet uh online play is garbage. Right? Am I am I am I lying? Okay. Their games are crazy expensive. Even their used games are expensive. Am I lying? And still, they're afloat. Why? Because you want to play the newest Zelda. Facts. Because you want to play the newest Super Mario. Facts. Because you want to get the newest Pokemon. Fact. They're running out. They're running out of Pokemons. They don't even know what else to make. Next thing you know, there's going to be a towel Pokemon. They, they, they don't know what else to make. But they're going to keep pumping them out. Nintendo's going to keep pumping out Pokemon games. Why not? Mar Super Mario has done everything. The only thing Mario has, has not done is pick up a gun yet. But this dude plays golf. This dude plays tennis. This dude plays basketball. He's been to the Olympics. This dude can fly. What else has this dude done? He's been to a galaxy. Apparently, he breathes in outer space. Okay. Luigi has been stuck in a mansion for like the past freaking 12 years. Okay. And he's selling games. All right. So, exclusives matter. Okay. Exclusives matter. Don't tell me that they don't. Because Nintendo has proven that they do as Especially if the exclusives are 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 classics and are and are really good. Name another Nintendo franchise. <laughs> you wanna know how exclusive matter? All Nintendo showed, okay, was literally a four and a word prime, and people lost their mind. Metroid Prime. People lost their mind, okay? I remember the reveal for Smash Bros. 
I I, re- I remember that on the Wii. Oh no, on the on the Switch. I remember that. Oh man, I remember YouTube videos like millions of views like this. It's an exclusive game. Nintendo didn't put it on PC. They didn't do that. They want you to buy their platform. That's all I'm saying. Now here's the truth, right? Somebody left left this in the comments as well, and I agree. At the end of the day, if these games come out on multiple platforms right off the bat, if Microsoft does do that, the only winners that we have is us. The consumers are winning. So Microsoft, thank you. I appreciate it. And somebody mentioned this as well. Microsoft might just be trying to make sure they sell. They might be focused on selling you the software the most, making sure that you get their games, right? And you know what? If they do this, they will, because PC gamers will buy the game as well. All you gotta do is uh, look at the the Master Chief Collection. Came out on PC. It, it sold. People are buying it. Like so. Good on you, Microsoft. But my thing is just if you want to sell the hardware, having exclusives would help that's all i'm saying guys we'll break down depending on how this video goes we'll break down more that other video and stuff that people said because some people left some really good insightful comments some really some really smart thinkers out there so again i appreciate it my whole thing is don't don't try to act like exclusives don't matter because they do I'm sure you know somebody that bought a system just for the exclusives. And as far as me being a fanboy, I will agree. I am definitely a fanboy. I was a fanboy of the Nintendo 64 when it came out. I liked it better than the PlayStation 1. And there's nothing you can tell me about that. It was just me. I was a fanboy of the GameCube. I was a fanboy of the Switch. Then I became a fanboy of the PS3. Like I liked it better than the Xbox 360. To the point where I didn't even buy Xbox 360. I know blasphemy. Um, then I was a fanboy of the Wii U. I thought the Wii U was, was, was done dirty by Nintendo themselves. Like that's probably the most underrated system I think is the Wii U. And then I was a fan of the PS4 over the Xbox, uh, one, right? So I bought the Xbox one S because I bought it like off of, uh, like, I think I got it on, on let go or offer up for like $140 or $150 or something. So that's the only reason why I bought it. And now that I'm playing on a freaking PC or gaming laptop, I am a fanboy of PC. Like every single game, if I could play it on my PC, I'm playing it on my PC. Because it plays better than the PS4 and it plays better than the Xbox One S. It just does. Right? So this is what I'm a fanboy of right now. So we'll see. Next generation will come out. Um, right now I am leaning towards the Xbox Series X that looks like a pretty dope system because I don't see me upgrading my PC anytime soon it's probably gonna cost me a lot of money to do so so I might get that system and stay with my PS4 and get rid of my Xbox One S because I don't need it anymore if I, if I have the Xbox Series so we'll see we'll go from there but if a game comes out on the Xbox Series X and on PC depending on what the what they're actually playing at We'll see what I get it for. That's all I'm saying. Exclusives do matter though. Doc Dog 1985. There's levels to this. We out. Peace.